um, long time no see. Actually, I think it's been about 24 hours, but that's okay. Um, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna show you some of the moves that we did in the warm up. Um, as you remember, we were gonna do that five minutes on the treadmill, but no one likes the treadmill, right? So I said that you could do like a dance around your kitchen, you can take a walk around the block, you can do jumping jacks, um, lots of different activities that you can do to just like get your heart rate pumping and make sure that you're getting warm, right? Because the last thing we wanna do is start exercising when we're not warm. Um, a couple of exercises that I also had you do, I'm gonna show you right here. They're on your um, sheet, right? So everything I do, I'm gonna do it in order that it's on your workout plan. Okay, so the first thing we did is we warmed up the core, right? So we did these, right? We did side bends, which feel really good. And you're gonna do eight of those on each side for your warm up. Awesome. Okay, so leg goes back, right? Opposite leg, uh, opposite arm goes up, and you bend. You don't have to put your hand on your hip, but I do sometimes, right? Um, but it won't mess up the warm up either way. The next thing we did is we did some just general torso twists, right? One, two, and you're gonna pretend that you're holding a ball, right? And we talked about being in front of the mirror because you wanna make sure that your chest is up, shoulders are out of your ears, and you're smiling at yourself. Very proud of the fact that you're working out today. Um, so that's the next one. And again, you're gonna do about eight on each side. The other thing you can do, because obviously you're going from side to side, you can count to 16 or you can do it for about 30 seconds. So that works too. Um, the last one that we did was we did some chest openers, right? So we did a criss cross. So boop, boop, pull back, I'm flying, pull back, I'm flying, <laughs> right? Um, and this just helps to get the heart rate up and it also loosens up all of this upper body. Okay, so it looks like we are ready to get started with that. So I'm gonna grab your sheet, that's my door. Um, okay, and we started with a back extension with a reach. So I'm just gonna move you and my camera to the floor here and we'll do the back extension with a reach. Maybe my camera will work and everything, right? I wish I had a videographer, but not that fancy. So I'm gonna show you from both sides. So the back extension with a reach is when we were like this and we came up, check to the side, down, sweep to the side. Um, and I'm gonna show you this from just moving over a little bit so you can see my arm. So up and I'm following my arm coming back and down. Up, following the opposite arm, back and down. My toes are planted into the floor for this, which is a little different from how you were doing it previously. The barking upstairs is my dogs. Um, if you find that you need a little bit of an extra challenge on this exercise, um, this is a great time to use loops or bands if you have any from physical therapy or if you have any resistance bands that look like this, they usually have handles on them. But if you wanna see how to progress it just a little bit with one of these things, right? You can go down, up, ooh, and reach back with your band, right? That was a little hard. Um, <laughs> so you can do it with one of these and reach back while you're holding onto the band, right? That's just a way to bump it up a little bit if you're feeling a little extra spry, right? Um, so we may try that on Friday. Um, so you're gonna do 15 on each side and you're gonna do two sets of 15. If you start to look in the mirror and you see like, oh no, my neck is going down, my form is off, I don't, I'm not doing my swan dance, right? Then you're gonna do three sets of 10, three sets of eight, whatever you can tolerate without feeling pain, right? We're okay being uncomfortable and feeling the burn, pain is a no. Okay, so C-curve back tap. All right, so here is where, and I'm gonna show you this from the side, here is where we put our legs up like this, right? Toes up. Um, and we sort of lean back into a C-curve, right? And what do I mean by C-curve? It means like I've been punched in the stomach. 
And when that happens, when we suck in like that, first thing we want to do is like roll our shoulders up and they go all the way up into your ears. No, no, no. You're still a swan, always a swan, right? So you're back in your C curve, but you have the posture of a ballerina. So you go back and you reach up, reach up. I'm going to scooch over here so you can see where, what my arms are doing. So reach up reach up and the whole time that I'm doing that right shoulders out of the ears heads up chest up and my head follows my eyes follow my arm right so I'm looking at it I'm impressed with how swan like I am right um, I kid the first time I did that I looked less swan like and more mallard like but that's okay um, we also so that was good. So that was the C curve tap. Again, same number of sets and reps, and you can always take that modification of doing um, more sets and fewer reps at one point at one time. Okay, the next exercise we did, we had two different variations. So I'm gonna show you the one that's on the floor because I'm already on the floor, right? <laughs> so this one was your side plank with a hip drop. Right, so you can, you can see most of me, right? So your knee is, what are they barking at? Must be the post office. Um, so your knee is bent like this and your leg is on top of your knee, right? And I'll show you it from this way as well. Looks like this, okay. So you are going to, as um, we talked about, you've got your, um, arms supporting you, your shoulders right here, and your hands can go down, right? And you're gonna go up and down, up and down. And you're gonna suck in that belly button to your spine as you're doing it. And you're gonna feel this oblique muscle, right? That side of your abs is gonna be really, really engaged. Now this, you have to look in a mirror for because let, pretend you're doing a video, right? And I'm looking directly into the camera. You're gonna be looking directly into that mirror and you wanna see, am I making my swan-like ballerina move, right? Can I see my face? If you are in a position where you can't see your face, right? Um, and you feel like you're struggling with form, stop, right? Form. Form always, form is always the most important. You can go to the alternative exercise, which is where, oh look, there's my head. Okay, <laughs> which is where you take a weight, right? You go down, use those abs to pull you back up. Down, use those abs to pull you back up, right? You're sucking in your belly button the whole time and you're looking in the mirror because you wanna make sure you're not doing one of these, right? That your hips not like, poking out, because this is not a hip exercise, right? This, we're keeping our hips in line, tummy drawn in, and we're just going up and down. You'll feel that in your abs, because they're the ones that are doing all the work. So you know you're gonna do that on each side, same number of sets and reps. Okay, so, maybe there's a squirrel. All right, um, the next one that we're doing is when we started our, our glutes series. So we've got bridge to clam, a single leg bridge, um, and a single leg side tap. So bridge to clam, you have been already doing a lot of bridge work. So there's a way that we can bump this up a little bit. You're welcome, right? Um, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the bridge to clam that we did together, and then I'm gonna show you how to bump it up. So I try and move this back so you can see. Oh, beautiful, okay. So you can't see my head, but it's down, right? So my hands are all the way down. I'm reaching forward a little bit because I wanna make sure my shoulders are out of my ears. And then I'm just gonna lift up my pelvis and I want it to feel like my pelvic bone is, has a string connected to my nose, right? Seems a little weird, but it helps you to lift high and in the right direction. And then you're gonna clam it. So you're gonna open it up. Okay, um, let me scooch back so you can see that better. 
bridge to clam, right? So I'm up and I'm out and I'm down. Now, let's say that you are like, but Rachel, I've been doing this for a while and I need an extra challenge. <laughs> These are loops. If you don't have any, don't worry. Um, I'm bringing you some on Friday. So you can put that loop right around here above your knees. Try not to get frustrated with the loop. They roll, they flip around, they're weird, right? But they come in handy, you get used to them. So with this, if you do the bridge to clam, right? You're up and it has a little bit more resistance when you're pushing those knees out, right? Um, so that's gonna work the side of your legs and stuff like that and you just might get a little bit more out of it um, if you find that the original one that we wrote, the regular bridge to clam isn't challenging enough. Okay. Um, the next one was our single leg bridge, um, which you were awesome at and I admire your flexibility. So this is the same bridge, except one leg is up. Woo! Right? The leg that's doing all the work is the one that's down on the ground, right? That one's doing all the work and it's doing extra work because you've got a leg up in the air. If you wanna make it more challenging, Put your heel closer to your butt, right? That'll make it more challenging. The whole time though, your abs are still drawn in because they are making sure that your hips stay nice and in line and you're not like wobbling all over the place because that doesn't feel good. Okay, so last one, single leg side taps. Ah, right? <laughs> single leg side taps are pretty um, gnarly because they're working this tiny, tiny muscle called your glute med, right? Which is often ignored, um, but it's a really important part of your butt. Who knew your butt was so important, but it is. Um, and it helps a lot with stability. And I find that most people I work with who have issues with stability have really weak glute meds. So we're going to get yours up and functioning. So I'll show you from this side and then I'm going to show you my legs. But basically what we're doing is hand on the floor, you can lay down, you can do this. Maybe I'll do this because I'm feeling a little tired. I will raise my leg up, tap, tap front, tap, tap back. Tap, tap front, tap, tap back. What's causing you not to do this or this? Your core, right? Because as per always, your abs are drawn in, belly button to the spine. So now I'm just gonna show you that move without my upper body. Um, maybe I'll get a cameraman one of these days. Um, <laughs> so, um, without the upper body, so you can see my toe, oh, can't see my toes, there we go. Boop, front, front, up, tap, 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 tap. right? And you're gonna do that, um, with both legs. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this portion of the video. I'm going to make a separate video with the cool down exercises just so that um, this doesn't get too long and I don't bore you to tears. Um, all right, but that is your exercise routine for this week and um, I'll see you Friday.